this is Laura, and today we're going to be doing hand drawings. And so we're going to be using markers and ink. And you need some paper that is big enough to trace your hand. And I want you to think about the idea of connection. So how you are connected to the world or certain things that make you feel connected. Maybe it's sports, maybe it's race cars, maybe it is some kind of activity like running. Um, so some kind of metaphor for what makes you feel connected to the world. And so what I chose was nature imagery, so flowers and vines and nature is definitely something that makes me feel connected to my life and to the world. Um, so what you're going to want to start to do is just trace your hand. And so maybe if the camera could just zoom in. So I'm just going to go ahead and lightly trace my hand. So there I've got a tracing of my hand. And then I'm just going to encourage you to just work right directly onto the paper before you cut your hand out. So it's going to look like this before you cut it out. And I want you to try using the markers that are water soluble. And I can show you how these will actually start to look like um, watercolor when you get the water soluble marker wet. So I'm actually going to use an eye motif. So I'm drawing these eyes. The other thing that I really love is pattern. And so you don't have to come up with an exact pattern, but maybe think about doing some kind of design on the hand that is a pattern. So maybe if football is what makes you feel connected or bicycles, bicycling, you know, you could do some kind of loose pattern that's based on bicycle wheels and handlebars. That could be a really fun idea. Um, so here I'm going to show you the example of how you can get the water soluble marker doing these eyes kind of in a quick pattern. So I've got the marker right here and this is the camera close enough to see this Owen. And then just putting water on top. Look at that. You get a watercolor kind of technique. And then also if you have any ink, you could use this as well. I always like to introduce you to different mediums every week. So we're not always doing watercolor. I just like you to see what your options are. So this is this really great colored ink. Um, even if you just have black, that might be fun to use as a background or for your shapes. And so going in You can also mix up the water soluble marker with the permanent marker and I'll show you that. So here I have a Sharpie permanent marker and you'll see how if I go in with that, that's not gonna be water soluble. So you can get a different kind of effect with that. So. That blue was water soluble, but the dark green is not. Um, so then once you get your design completed and it's dry, then you can go ahead and cut your hand out just using scissors. Um, and my scissors aren't here, but anyway, you get the idea. <laughs> so go ahead and cut the outline of the hand out. And then you're going to have a piece like this. And I framed this one. Then this is another one that I have that actually has two hands and they're both framed. And you know, a fun thing to think about is um, if you find yourself with a little bit extra time on your hands right now, because we are socially isolating, um, what if you went ahead and traced hands of people that are in your house right now and you could do a different one for different people and what makes them connected. So anyway, it's uh, really good to talk to you and I will see you again next week. Bye.